it's Jill with Crick Blicks and just finishing up the weekend. Um, gonna try and get some scrapbooking in here real quick and we will see what we got here. Not prepared. Okay, these are gonna be of Halloween and I'm going to be, I did three, three or four, um, at least three sets of pa uh, package packages that will be on my shop. Um, the first sheet on this, these are all 12 by 12. This one is kind of looks like it's a crumpled up um, old par parchment paper. These are digital prints. And I put a spider web down in the corner over here. It's a real, really fine. And then at the top, I put Happy Halloween. And the page that's going to be across from that is another parchment page, a little bit darker. Um, and, and I put the spider web on the other side. These are pages that would be in the kit. The theme of this particular set, all three of them, is um, Alice in Wonderland. But it's based on the Alice in Wonderland, the movie that was made, I don't know what year. It's not the original original one. It was from the TV movie. Um, I can't think, I, I don't, I never saw it. But it is not the original Alice in Wonderland. And here we have paper that has the rabbit all over it. And here is the paper that has the, oh, I needed that little bottle. I'm going to have to find where I put it. I have a um, drink me bottle on that too of, I don't know if this was Alice or who, because again, I never saw the movie. Oh, and I printed that one on both sides. Boy, I was having a rough time because my printer keeps um, getting all jacked up when it's printing and then it spits it out half printed. Uh, solid purple of kind of a Argo print. It's not solid, it's all, it's it's distressed looking. And then I have one with the rabbit. Now, I know this is messed up somewhere along the way here because I have, let me look at what I have right here. Um, unless this is part of it and it is not. I think these sheets are a little bit off. Well, let me grab some stuff here because I need that little bottle. Should be with this other set. I don't know what I did wrong. Didn't know this was one. I print all the papers off. Yeah, that goes with this set. And, okay. That one also had the Halloween spider web papers in it. I really like that. But I need the rabbit. Unless it just I love this this file. This this is from um, off of Etsy. And again, all you have to do is put it in the search window uh, digital uh, Alice in Wonderland, digital paper, or digital whatever. Can't find, because this one has the little boy rabbit, and I thought I had both the girl and the boy with one packet, but it doesn't make any difference how you do it. You do it any way you want, but I had them sorted out so that they each had six sheets for the background and six um, and the, the, I'm one of the images that were in the packet. And that's the cat that I just found over there. It's had a lot of pieces in it. I don't know what to do with it. So I guess it doesn't really matter. It could be anywhere. Could be anywhere. I'm starting my pile for my next winter. And... Not there either. I don't know where they look, but where they went. Because I need the rabbits for this one. Maybe they're in here and I didn't notice, guys. Maybe I just.
just didn't notice. Oh, here's the one rabbit. I don't have the little girl. Of course, I don't have the paper for the little girl either. Um, here's this rabbit right here. Of course, I don't want to put it on the same paper, but this is the, the, the way that the file comes. And so I put whatever I put together for papers, I tried to keep um, like three prints, this type of print, and a solid and a dark purple on each one of them. And I picked out the images, like here's the rabbit from this one. And then here's the tall, the tall, long leg, long neck, long leg, long neck here. Um, I guess there wasn't another one with another rabbit on it. So, whatever. Anyway, let's just, oh, I didn't show you the last. I did with the bottle of poison, the rabbit, and that. Yeah, I did. I showed it all. I don't know. I'm getting, I'm getting really, really, um, what would the word for it be? I can't even call it tired. I'm just, it, it's starting to really get to me, this, this, um, whole lockdown situation. I just, I don't know. I feel like, I start to feel like it's going to be worse when we're done than, it, than the whole epidemic itself. I don't know. I'm just having one of my days, guys, and I said one way of getting out of whatever mood it is that I was in is to scrapbook. So that's what I'm doing. Now, I spend the whole entire time complaining, then I'll know maybe that's not the right choice. I'm cutting the white edges off of this because I'm not going to be using these as backgrounds at all. I leave. I always leave the white up wet edges if I'm going to be using it as my background paper. Then I want them off. Usually, I shouldn't say always, but usually. So, let me see what I'm going to do. Now, what I'm going to use for pictures on this one is pictures at the party of, was of her, all of her guests. So, I just kind of threw them out here depending, because I wasn't sure how many I would be able to fit on it. And I didn't pick a particular costume theme because they were all different. It, that wasn't an option. So, I'm going to bring... A piece of this about five inches wide past the the web over here under Happy Halloween. The oh, and it's my crummy tape. That ought to help cheer me up. My crummy tape. A lot of these were spitting out only printing half. Oh, I think the tape knows. I'm not in the mood to mess with it because that came off really nice. Um, and the colors on the Happy Halloween here print out. This kind of looks like it's one of the fonts I know that I have. I can't think of what font it is because I didn't do it. Um, but it is in the color of candy corn. So it's the white tip with the orange and the yellow on the end. That's how the Happy Halloween was. And my rabbit's upside down. And my rabbit's upside down. The one thing that is nice about that crappy tape is it peels off easier when I lay it down. When I do my digitals, they peel off really easy anyway. I don't know why that is, but for some reason they, they're easy to get up when I when I want to. Um, and let me see what I want to put with that. I think I'm going to use this little girl. I can't believe I did that double-sided. What was I thinking? There wasn't. I was trying to get where I was printing my digitals all at once, just loading them, and then they would just go into the queue and spit out. But my printer, which is connected directly to my computer because it's been acting so funky, is still not acting any better. And I know it has nothing to do with my internet because it plugged in directly. But um, I don't know what it is. I don't know. Sometimes it spits out only half a page printed out, then another time it'll... One time it was spitting out, I kept making the same picture, one over and over again, although I had changed my image on my cutout, or on my computer. Okay, let's see, how long is this one? This one is 11 and 3 quarters. Yeah, 11 and three quarters. So 
that would be five and a half and three fourths. Okay, five. So we're going to take in an eighth. Okay, you're probably wondering why I have to have the exact measurement for that. And this is how long. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing. Five and five. The reason I was doing that is because I am going to cut this one out in a triangle. And uh, I've been doing math. <laughs> now I am doing this kind of math. I was going to say I've been doing a lot of math things with my... my um, grandkids being out of school. I told my daughter on Friday, uh, I'm not a teacher for a reason. So I, I feel like they're having, folks are work, having to work from home. Um, and the kids out of school and the daycare facilities closed and they don't want anybody, unless it's an essential, for interacting with anybody. However, I do believe that um, child care and people that work from home is not a good combination. I mean, child children being at home. Then, not only do they want you to keep your distance, they also want you to do your job and do the teacher's job while you're at it. So, what you're supposed to do then is work with your child on their studies and... I have talked to my niece, who's a teacher, or works for the school district. She's not a teacher. She helps out with the children. Uh, my my, do my daughter's sister-in-law, who's a teacher, and watching my daughters and everybody else be going, are all going through this nightmare of trying to work their jobs and school their children and keep them quiet while you're working and concentrating. And I think it's just a combination for disaster. I, I don't know, but I told my daughter, as much as I would love to say that I'm going to sit down and play teacher all day, not happening. I have enough with the four of them, all at four different levels in the school. And uh, a baby included, but I've got to throw in nap time and diaper changing time and holding time and feeding time. And I said, I am not. I'm not. So I asked her what her expectations were just to make sure that they, her and I were on the same page before I told her whether or not I was, yeah, I, I, could, I can't do it. Can't do it. So, but one thing that's in a constellation with people having that struggle is keep in mind, everybody else is right there with you. I don't care what grade the kids are in. Everyone is in the same boat as far as the kids being out of school and um, it not being such an easy thing to accomplish. Everybody's in it together. Okay, I cut that little triangle at the bottom and I'm gonna lay it down here on the bottom. I cut these in squares and then cut them in triangles. And one thing you have to be sure of to do something like that, if you're going to be using a pattern that exact actually has a direction that is of importance, you want to make sure um, you're cutting it in the right direction. And I'm not going to even explain what I just meant by that because that was even hard for me to understand what I was saying. But I did mention in my video yesterday that I didn't upload from the weekend. And I didn't upload it. And it just dawned on me now that I didn't upload it. Let me see if I have any washi tape in these colors. Um... Let me see. I think I do. Oops. I think I got some more hair that I can use. Some dark purple glitter. Oh, I think I'm going to like that. Um, that Rebecca Hurd and Sandy Avery are the winners of the first two giveaways I did. I'm not sure if I uploaded the video yesterday. And I need... The at, your at shipping addresses. Um, I can take them to the post office. They're all packed up and ready to go. However, I, I need to know where they're going. So, and I gave my question on that, which I'm going to repeat on this one because I'm going to tell you how to send me the answer. Because then this this will be 
be to me easier and pretty fail safe. Um, email it to me at crickflix at gmail.com and crickflix is C R I C F L I X. You can email me your answer. And the question yesterday was, what is my husband's name? Because it dawned on me when I was writing down all these questions, I decided the trivia is going to be about me. And my husband said, well, that figures. I'm like, it's not really because it's about me because it's really about me. It's because he wanted me to do these trivia, these trick questions. And uh, I didn't feel like, I don't know, they were, I just didn't want to do it. I decided to make it about me because people are starting to how much they watch. And they like to listen to my stories. We'll, we'll see how much you like to listen to my stories. We'll see what you know. Because every single one of the answers it is on my channel somewhere. Somewhere, sometime. And guys, the pattern that I'm making here, this is just to show you that there is absolutely no rhyme or reason to what you do when you're scrapbooking. You just just go go with it. Go with whatever comes into your head. Just do it. Because you just watched me start, and all I started with was some sheets of paper. That was it. And, you know, you might not like my design. I just took it, and I've got my rabbit up here, and I have the printed on up here. And the reason that I prefer to print titles and, and, and um, spider webs and things like that, the software on the silhouette, I absolutely love it. It is so easy for, or user-friendly. Um, I absolutely love it. But I don't like to get my whole page printed because I could do this all as one. Because number one, I like the feel and the, of the layer. You can see the layer when you're looking at it in person. You can see the textures. You can feel it. The paper gets heavy. It's It's got substance. I love it like this. But these things I don't like to print off and try and put on because they never cut out perfect. They're, they It's real easy for them to tear. There's a lot of room for tearing because these are really thin when you cut them out. And the spider web, for the obvious reason, I didn't want to cut it out. I could have printed it on, let's say, another sheet of paper and cut the whole square out. There's so much you could do, but I really like just the real subtle pieces that are printed on. Um, then I took my my purple argyle print, and it was a, a distressed. So even when I cut it up, the colors are completely different. It's really dark here and real light down here. Then I had my print with the, the this, which I don't know, I don't know because I didn't see the new movie and I'm not that familiar with Alice in Wonderland because if I did watch it as a child or years ago, I can hardly remember yesterday, let alone years ago. Um, I do have to find the, oh, I did find it. Drink Me and Her, I'm going to use on this layout and the rabbit. And I also have this rabbit that's on another sheet of paper. And I think no matter which... Oh, let me put some pictures. How about if I slap some pictures on there? Um, again, none of these are going to be the theme of the page because everybody at the party was something different. And I am not going to be doing layouts with, with just a person. It, that's not going to happen. So I'm going to try and pick out a couple here that I like. And I don't want to cover up everything that I've just did. Maybe I'll do, do I want both of these? Let me think here. I don't know if I'm gonna need both. I may just use that, but see then I got these three. Maybe I'll do these three on there. And I'm not gonna tape them on until I see how I do the other page, just in case. This is my um, niece. And her wife in this picture that you can't see, um, she is six foot, six foot two, I think she is. And she is um, either a sergeant or lieutenant. Sergeant, I think she is here. And she's currently at the, the prison. And found out that they had, somebody in the prison had corona. Um, virus, and so she has been living in an apartment uh, of her uncle's, of my niece's uncle's, um, that was vacant. 
He does not know how long she has to live there or anything. But she also suffers, I don't know what it is, struggles because when she was in homicide, homicide um, it really was hard for her when she had to deal with uh, murdered children. And so, they, I mean, it's mandatory when you work for, not, I think it depends on the city, county, whatever, but it's mandatory here that when you just work and see certain certain things, homicides and things like that, that it's mandatory you have to go to, to some, sort of some sort of therapy. And she did really, really good until um, her and my niece um, had the kids. And I don't know if she dealt with much with homicide um, in children. And I don't, she wasn't in homicide when she first moved here, but she's, like I said, now she's at the prison. And, um, and with somebody being testing positive with corona, she had to find another place to, to live because my brother-in-law lives with them and he is 72 or will be 72 and he lives with them and so he couldn't be there or she couldn't be there and it's been four weeks now that she's been moved out and I think oh that's that's got to be horrific for her to not even have an outlet to talk to um, somebody she's just I don't know I can't imagine. I think it would be horrific. This is the rabbit. And when I first started showing these, I said I wasn't going to use it on the same paper. I lied because I want this rabbit on this sheet of paper. I think. Yeah, I do. I'm going to do it that way, guys. I should just try and not talk about what I'm going to do until I do it. Because... There was a change of plan. And there always is when I'm doing something that is not with any sort of direction. Oh, beautiful day out. Finally looks like we're going to start getting some decent weather. Although there was two feet of snow in forecast for Chicago, which is just a couple hours from me. Yeah, I don't know if they got it or not. Um, I don't check the paper for anything other than how close are we to getting out of the house or getting our lives back to normal. I don't think we're very close, guys. And probably I won't live long enough to ever see normal again. I think this is probably the worst since the epidemic in, in what was it, 1917, 1918? I believe that was the, um, whatever flu, I can't think of the name, the flu either, but I do believe that was the time frame. Relying on my memories, uh, not always a good thing. <laughs> Is anybody that's watched me for more than a day or two knows? It's okay. I'm okay with it. I was planning on seeing my one daughter, hoping to, uh, that I haven't seen in, I've seen her. I haven't been in the same room. Door's always been between us. I don't know how to explain it, but I think you know what I mean. It's been five weeks now and she's the daughter I normally get together with every single day. And she's on, on Aunt, my Amazon account. My kids all use my Amazon account because I have Prime in, for the shipping. <laughs> And every time I go on there, because I need something, I have to buy some of my uh, essentials there because I can't get them in the grocery store. And sometimes I just order there because it's easier. But um, every time I go on there, her shopping cart is full. And the things that it's full of are like uh, glow sticks, sock chalk, sock, sidewalk chalk, sock chalk, sidewalk chalk, um, balloons, just all sorts of stuff like that. I said, she must be just bouncing off the walls trying to figure out what is she going to do every single day with the kids. And the reason I laugh is because um, the kids have gas, um, uh, what are they called? Motorcycles and four-wheelers and because they live on a, I mean, the yard is just humongous. And she's trying to find something to do 
their backyard is a, I don't know, but she's funny. She, she uh, keeps them busy. I think it, she keeps them as busy as she does so that they don't put her in an asylum. Because I think a lot of people are going crazy with all this. Okay, I used that one across that way. I don't want to cover up this web. Should I move the web up in the corner? There we go. Then I'm going to put this one down here. Waste not, want not. I'm going to use the whole piece. I like that. You're watching the juices flow here. For how long, I don't know. The tape was starting to give out on me. And I did not glitter these pieces yet. The, the um, die cuts because if I glittered them, I'd have to wait for them to dry before I got any of this to work on. And I just decided I'd glitter them afterwards. No big deal. Now on this one, let me see. I'm going to kind of be on the same page. Same. No, I'm not on the same board at all. Not even close. Not even close. I didn't put that rabbit in it. So let me see here what I want to do. Don't know, but I will find out. And this one is going to go this way because the way the pattern runs. And I'm not going to try and figure out why I'm doing what I'm doing. I'm just going to go with it. And I finally got to cook on it. Well, I shouldn't say I cooked on a grill today. Normally my husband does it. I did it today. And that was the first time I had this since it's been nice. And hadn't had brats in forever. And I made brats and they were so good. I'd forgotten how much I liked them. I'm trying to figure out if there's a way to put this on. She's going in the right direction. And there is this one. However, if I use this one, it's way too long, too big. So, well, you know what that means? It means I'm going to cut it off. Got over that quick, too. And I'm going to bring it down to match there and there and there. My husband just finished building for my son, my youngest son, who's expecting his first baby. My husband just built them a king-size bed. Um, somebody asked me if he uses something for his, his, uh, instructions or where does he get whatever. He doesn't do anything. My, my son just told him how he wanted it, gave him a visual and my husband made it and it came out gorgeous. So my son and his wife, Kiki, the one that's pregnant, came over this afternoon to see it and I went out we were outside and kept our distance and and he didn't come in the garage we had the doors open and whatever and we didn't get near them the whole time I'm thinking you guys aren't supposed to be doing this you know it makes me all freaky but the bed came out absolutely <laughs> unbelievable and he said and then Kiki said, oh, I went out and bought nightstands. I said, why in the heck did you go out and buy nightstands? Why didn't you just have them make them to match? She said, I want them to match. I get it. Turn them different. I get that. But uh, I said, you got to get that bed over there and put up so I can have you stage it and get me some pictures to put up on the Flannel, Flannel Dad's website. That's the name of my husband's business, if um, I hadn't mentioned that before, which I should have... Well, I mentioned now, and it might be a trivia, a trivia question down the road, because I've got quite a few, quite a bit of stuff to give away here. So the trivia is going to go on till it's gone. I have a lot of stuff that I do not want to see to go to waste. And guys, just to clarify, oh, I'm when I'm doing a lot a, a, a layout like this that I'm doing, and I got pieces left over, I throw them in there. And they become part of my giveaway. But I also go through all of my things that I've had for a while and pull things pull things out and add that. Um, 
and it's not, it, it's, it might be this half a sheet of paper, which it is. This half sheet's going to go in there. Somebody that's into scrapbooking and is interested in winning, or not in, I shouldn't say interested, these pieces, even though it's just a piece like this, it still works because this is all I'm using on my piece, on my layout. So then this one will go too. And it's printed on both sides. I don't think I'm clever and did double-sided paper. This was an accident, pure accident. I am not that ingenious to make double-sided paper. Not that it's hard, but I wouldn't think to do that. I'm gonna put the rabbit on this side or the stripe. And I know it covers up some of this. I made this one wider. I can I can go ahead and and still get the whole rabbit in. And I don't want it all the way down. Do I want it all the way down? No, I don't. It's kind of like roof furniture. When when Kiki had said that thing, she didn't want the nightstands to match the board, the headboard or the, the bed. It was the footboard and headboard. It's the whole bed, the whole entire bed. Um, I get it because when I'm doing a scrapbook layout, I don't like I don't like everything to be the exact same. I'd, I'd like it to to flow. I don't like that I can't tell what that is, but that's okay. Um, maybe I'll put another one down here. That's going the wrong direction, and that one I didn't. I didn't. I didn't something. Well, you know where these guys are gonna go. These guys are going to go in the pile, which is the next, the next drawing. Not drawing, the next one to answer. And make sure you send me the answers at crickflix at gmail.com. The thing that was happening is everybody was doing exactly what the, they guess they should be doing is they were answering them right on my YouTube. But then I had to go back through every single message to find out because it's whoever answers first with the right answer. And that became kind of a nightmare to try and go through every single one of those comments because I didn't remember which video I put it on. So I had to go back and I, I did that once and learned my lesson. So now... And I tried to cut that off because it wasn't straight and that ruined it. Didn't have enough to hold on to, so I cut it crooked. There we go. Anyway, so it has to be emailed to me so that I can, it's going to be very apparent who got it right first because it's right there in email. Okay, these, this is just so you have an idea. No, it would not be just like somebody might be thinking I'm throwing away all my scraps. It isn't. There's enough pieces from all these layouts so they did, you have enough to make few layouts yourself. There's background paper in it, you know, full size 12 by 12 paper, tons of die cuts. Um, it's just a whole bunch of things. And every single package that I, I, every giveaway is going to have something special and unique in it. Um, this last one, which I do believe goes to it would have been Rebecca. Uh, I have some of my pages that I did when I did all my inking with my distress inks and when I did my paper shredding, the edges around my, my um, photo mats. Oh, I used to love doing that so much. But when I'm always doing kids' scrapbooks, I just never use those because that wasn't kiddish to me. Most of my, 99% of my scrapbooks are kids. So my grandkids. Okay, I'm loving this file. Again, I got this on Etsy. Um, and I love it. I just, I'm not gonna have any room for pictures. I keep forgetting that I'm doing that. This is that guy that was smoking. This is all the puff smoke. I haven't quite decided yet how I'm gonna decorate that piece. I don't think it's going to go on here, so I think that'll probably end up in my in my basket of goodies, in my box of goodies. Not in a basket, guys. Okay. And I'm not going to be able to fit everybody on here. I think what I'm going to do on this one is put the two kids. This was one of the little girls at the party. I don't know how well you can see it, but she was Captain whatever his name is from Pirates of the Caribbean. Or Caribbean. 
Oh, so cute, so cute. Captain, yeah, I don't know what it was. And then my granddaughter and grandson, these two are three months difference in age and they're best of friends, Wyatt and Isabel. And they went as um, Lloyd, Floyd and whatever the other name's name is from the movie Dumb and Dumber. So freaking cute. They're so, these two are best buddies and it's killing them that they can't see each other. Kids are really starting to struggle with it now because they see each other all the time and they go to school together. So they are really, really, they're having a whole bunch of emotions to deal with and they don't really know what it is. And I know, we all know what it is. A lot of it is, is that they just, they really want to see each other. And my daughter, Amy, asked what the first thing, who the first person they wanted to go see was when this was lifted, they can go see somebody. And they said, Nam and Papa, as long as Isabel and, and Wyatt says, as long as Isabel's there. Um, they are so close. But they did say the first place they want to go was here. And since I haven't been out and I'm trying to, uh, what do you want to, what do they call it? Um, with the economy, they want us to stimulate the economy. They haven't given us the go ahead yet to stimulate. I just ordered three new of the four wheelers that I get for my kids. I got them for my grandkids over the years. I've collected like, probably had about at one point six of them, but they're good for, for, for the brand new ones. I think I've had for probably eight, eight years. Um, the ones that broke first are ones I picked up on a resale shop. Uh, but since there's no going to any resale right now, I ordered them because it's getting warm out and I've got the kids since there's no school. And so I decided that I really, really needed something to keep them outside. So they should be coming this week. One of them is a, is a, one of them that I got them was a, a dinosaur. Yeah, dinosaur. So cute. The mouth opens and shuts. It's really cute. You know, that it's they're going to Nana's house, so so did my kids have all this? No. My do my kids tell me all the time they didn't have all this? I said, No, you didn't. Because I have four kids and I did not work. I was a stay at home mom. You had what you needed. Now I'm a grandma and I do what I want. My needs are a lot less. I think. My daughter <laughs> my daughter and husband wouldn't agree. But Okay, I don't want to cover any of that up, so I had decided I was going to put that jack-o'-lantern right there. I don't want it lined up right perfect, and I think I'm going to call it quits on that. So whoever gets the answer right on this last drawing, remember it's at quickflicks at gmail.com. What is my husband's first name? So you better be paying attention to my uploads. You're not going to know this because it will already be uploaded. But anyway, I will, I'm going to do the glittering before I take the pictures, but thanks for watching and everybody have a great week. I will be doing some more, uh, scrapbook layouts. That's pretty much all I'm doing right now. Uh, don't have a whole lot going on, uh, which is an understatement, but anyway, so it's going to be a lot of this. If you don't like scrapbooking, don't be looking at my channel because <laughs> that's all it's going to be. Okay. Thanks a lot guys. Bye-bye.